Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to play a game. Those who don't know me, I'm Mr. Mahmood. Helping you do better in math by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise and going through math revision on YouTube. That's right, on YouTube. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. And don't, don't forget to press that bell icon so that I know upload my next video which I haven't been done for a while, but uh, exams are coming up, so I'll be uploading a lot more videos for the exams. I know some of you have a mock coming up in March, if you're in year 11, and um, if you're in year 10, you probably have exams end of the year or year nine. You probably have some exams already, but no problem. You can still learn, don't, can't we? But anyway, today, we, as I said, we're going to play a game, and we're going to play bingo. Now, for this game, I need you to draw a 3x3 three three grid. Now, if you're watching this video, I'd like you to pause it, get some paper, and then you can join in. So if you're not sure what a 3x3 three three grid is, basically a box with three, um, not three, nine squares in it, nine boxes. So let's draw the 3x3 three three grid. So I'm gonna draw a box here. Yep, can you see that? So that's a 3x3 three three grid. Uh, well, that's not a 3x3 three three grid, is it? This is just one box. One by one. So you should have... How many squares would you have in a 3x3 three three grid? Yes, 9. 3 times 3 is 9. So, draw the lines to give you... 3 times 3, which is 9 boxes. Okay, and this is where we can involve it area in it as well, because you've got the length and width is 3, because it's a square, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 squared is 9, we can bring in square numbers as well. 3 squared is 9. You can do all sorts of maths. A simple box. Maths is amazing, isn't it? But anyway, now... We've got the grid, so did you use pencil and ruler to draw your grid? Well, you get told off, don't you? Well, you usually get told off in school by your teacher if you don't use pencil and ruler to draw shapes in your book. Um, today I'll make an excuse, you don't need to use a pencil or ruler, but just draw a 3x3 three three grid. I want you to place the numbers between 20 and 90. You can include 20 and 90 in your grid. So you could choose a bit numbers between 20 and 90, including 20 and 90. You can only use the number once. For example, if I choose the number 21, I can write the number 21 once. Okay, so put those numbers in. Now, by the way, uh, once you finish <coughs> this game, uh, if you win, well, if you get full house, I want you to type in comments, bingo, in the comments. Okay, so I'm going to choose the numbers for this grid. So let's choose the numbers. Let's say 21, because I said 21 a bit ago. Why did I choose 21? That two looks a bit funny. Let's sort it out. So 21. What shall I choose next? Um, 25. Twenty-five. Let's say go into the 30s. 36. 37. 42. Give me the number. 58. And let's go to the 60s, 62, 70, and let's say 80. Okay, I've chosen my numbers now, nine numbers. Do I have any repeats? No. <clears throat> so, nine numbers have gone into the grid. Now, the rule is now, I'm going to roll these two dice. And as soon as they're all the numbers, I'm going to call out the numbers. You need to add the numbers up 
and then cross out the multiple of that number from your grid. Now, if you're not sure what a multiple is, multiples are numbers that appear on the times tables of that number. So for example, if I roll, I'll roll, I'll do a trial. So this is a trial, don't cross out any numbers yet. So four and six added together gives me 10. I list the numbers here anyway. So 10, cross out the multiples of 10 on your grid. So how many multiples of 10 do we have? If you have two multiples of 10, you can cross out both. If you have three, you can cross out three of them as well. So I've got two multiples of 10. So I'm gonna cross out 70 and 80. Okay, that was a trial. So are we ready to go? Okay, let's start. So let's see how many goals we need to take in order to cross out all these numbers. So there we go, first set of numbers. Four and four. Four and four. Eight. So the number is eight. So if you've got any multiples of eight on your grid, cross them out now. Do I have any? 21, no. 25, no. Four times eight is 32, no. 37, no. 42, no. 58, mm, if you know a time table, you should know it by now. 62, no. 70, no. 80, yes, 80. Eight times 10 is 80. I can cross out 80. Crossed out, one number crossed out so far. Next go. Let's roll them. I'll show you the numbers so that I'm not cheating. So four and one, five. So a four add one is five. Cross to the multiples of five. Do we have any multiples of five? Yes, I can see one here, 25. Five times five is 25. 36, no, 70. Five times the number gives me 70. What's that number? 14, five times 14 is 70. I'm good with my time savers. Do you know your timetables? Well, if you know, don't know your timetables up to at least, say, 12, I would suggest that you get to learn them now. Six and three, nine. Six and three is nine. Do I have any multiples of nine on this grid? 21, no, nine times two is 18. Nine times four is 36. Let's cross out the 36. 42, no, 58, no, 62, no. Okay, so far, I crossed out one, two, three, four numbers. I had three goals already. Not bad, doing well. So let's do it again now. Next, six and one. Six and one are the numbers. Have a close look. Six and one is seven. Six and one is seven. Seven goes into 21. Yeah, seven times three is 21. Let's cross it out. Seven, 37, no. Seven times six is 42. I can cross out 42. And 58, 62, no. That's it. So let's have a go again. So I'm gonna list the numbers here as well. And uh, next, five and three. Five and three is eight. We already had an eight. Therefore, uh, we already crossed out the multiples of eight, so we cannot cross it out again. So let's try the next one. Five and three, eight again. No, let's give it a good shake. Three and two, five. We already had a five. Not gonna work. Four and three, seven. No, it's not going to work. We already had seven. Five and six. Okay, five and six. 11. Do we have any multiples of 11? So the next number we had 11. I do not have any multiples of 11. If you have any, you can cross it out. Next, three and three, six. Okay, the next number is six. I'll write it here. Six, does it go into any number? Six times six is 36, close. We kind of cross it out though. 58, no. 62, no. 6 times 10 is 62. Very close numbers. We can't cross them out though. 5 add 1 is 6. No, not going to work. 2 and 2, 4. Do we have a 4? No. Let's write down the 4. Does 4 go into any of them? 4 doesn't go into 37. 4 times 9 is 36. 4 doesn't go into 
58 either. What isn't going to 62 either? Oh, let's try again. If you have a multiple of four, cross them out. Does anyone have bingo yet? Let me know in the comments with capitals, bingo. I can put a few more exclamation marks there as well. Six add one is seven. We already had the sevens, we can't cross it out. Two add one is three. I'll show you the numbers. Two and one, three. Okay, do we have a multiple of three in here? We might do, no, no. Three times 12 is 36. Again, very close. Three times 19 is 57. No, close again. Three times 20 is 60. Ooh, difficult. Five and four is nine. We already had a nine, so we cannot cross it out. Five and three and eight. We already had an eight. Three and three, six, we already had a six. Four and two, six. How many different ways can we get six on a die? Well, on two dice, by adding two numbers. Let me know in the comments. Five and one, there's another six. Six and two, eight. Two and one, three, we already had three. What numbers do we need to cut out the numbers? Well, let's carry on, six and four. 10. Do we have any multiples of 10? No, we don't. Have a think about it. We already had a multiple of 5. Does that mean we could have crossed out the multiple of 10 as well? Yes, we did. 70. We had a multiple of 8, which is 80 across the L. Then multiple of 5, crossed out the 70. So, multiple of 10, kind of useless now. 6 and 6 is 12. 4 times 12 is 48. 5 times 12 is 60. No, it doesn't work. No. 3 and 1 is 4. 6 add 4 is 10. Again. 5 and 1 is 6. No. Come on. 6 and 3 and 9. By the way. Ah, oh, you won't believe this. 1 and 1. This is the number I was looking for. 1 and 1 is 2. I can cross out 58 because it's an even number. So any even number can be divided by 2. Yes, we can do. And 62 we can do. One more number to go. That was quite difficult to get. By the way, if you've got a bingo, let me know. 4 and 1 is 5. No, doesn't go into it. 6 add 2 is 8. We already had 2, 8. 4 add 2 is 6. We already had 6. Have we already had all the numbers that we could possibly have by rolling two dice and adding the two numbers? How many possibilities are there? Ooh, we can go into probability. Maybe next time we can go into that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. If you haven't liked this video yet, please do like this video. Let's have a look next. 4 and 2 and 6. 6 out 3 is 9. Alright, I'll stop here now. Why I can't figure out, well, why I can't get any numbers that I can cross out 37 by, any multiples of... Why can I cross out 37 by? Have a think about it. What numbers go into 37? Yes, 1 goes into 37, and 37 itself goes into 37. Any other numbers? No, no other numbers go into 37. Why? Because 37 is a prime number. It's a prime number. Only 1 and 37 goes into it. Therefore, 37 cannot be divided by any numbers that appear on the dice. Well, if you, even if you add two numbers on the two dice, you won't want to cross them out. Because there's not a number, with no two numbers that will make up to 37. And we cannot have one either because the minimum we can have two because one and one is two. If it was one dice, then possibly we can, but two dice we cannot because we're adding those two numbers. So, the probability of crossing out a 37 by adding two numbers on two dice 
is zero. Okay, we cannot do that because it's a prime number. A good way to learn, understand what prime numbers are, this game, and also, don't forget to uh, let me know if you had bingo already. You probably had bingo way before me because the numbers I choose weren't great. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I've got a join button here on my um, channel main page because I'll be doing uh, memberships, well, I started memberships. Um, I'll be doing revision sessions for the GCSE students, or even if you're in year nine and 10, please do join, it's 4 99 a month. And if you are joining, then you will get two revision sessions, at the moment two a month, but new, new to the exams, I will do more, say uh, maybe two to three a week at least. And I will be going through topics as well. And if you want to recommend any topics that I want need me to go, to go through, please do let me know on my um, comments on this video so I can uh, take those uh, topics into account. Okay, and that's it for today, guys. If you liked this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and I will see you in the next video. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths.